Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. You know, I'm a really big fan of the Raspberry Pi. It's such a great platform. There's so many things that you could do with it. As for me, I really love projects that center around self-hosting or server-related things in general. On this channel, I've shown you how to use Pis as the basis of projects such as network-attached storage, Kubernetes clusters, and more. But what do you do if you have, well, a bunch of Raspberry Pis like I do? Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you a potential solution. Specifically, I'm going to review the 19-inch 3U Raspberry Pi rack mount made by GeekPi. And this might be a great solution for those of you that have a rack in your business or home lab, and you want to deploy a fleet of Raspberry Pis to do your bidding. I reviewed an older version of this product some time ago, but this one, the one that I'm going to show you today, supports 14, yes, 14 Raspberry Pis. And in today's video, I'm going to give it a full review. Now I predict that this is probably going to be a shorter review than most that I've done because, well, how much can I really say about a rack mount for Raspberry Pis? Either it racks your Pis or it doesn't. But I figured that I would review this for you guys because, well, I figure someone out there might be in the market for something like this. So I'll give you my thoughts in today's video and by the end of the video, you'll know if this is the right solution for you. But before I get into that though, I need to give you guys a quick disclaimer. This is the same disclaimer that I put in all of my videos but you know what? I treat every review exactly the same. And I even have a webpage on learnlinux.tv that goes over the content review policy for this channel. However, I'll give you a quick summary right now. And that is every review unit that's sent into the studio is sent in at the vendor's own risk because I'll always give you my honest and unbiased opinion, even if it might not be what the manufacturer wants you to hear. I'm always going to be honest and fair in every review that I do. And just like always, this review is no exception to the policy. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's dive into the review. First of all, before I give you guys my thoughts on this product, let's talk a little bit more about what this Pi Rack actually is and who it might be a good fit for. What you're seeing right here is the finished build in the rack here in my studio. I have 12 of the 14 slots occupied currently, and as you can see, the product is, well, exactly what it says it is. It's a solution you could use to mount up to 14 Raspberry Pi 4 boards into your rack. Each Pi could be removed from the rack independently, so you could swap them out as needed. This kit also exposes the SD card slot for each of the Pis right at the front, so you won't need to disassemble anything if you need to swap out an SD card or even an entire Raspberry Pi. In addition to that, the kit also extends a full-size HDMI port to the front as well, and you could use that in case you need to attach a display while troubleshooting something. So now that you've seen the finished build, what's the assembly process like? Well, it's fairly straightforward. The kit comes with the rack mount itself, as well as individual mounts for up to 14 Pies, and each of the mounts comes with all the necessary hardware that you might need for each of the slots, such as the daughter board that's used to extend the ports, as well as the required cables and even a fan. Following the instructions, you simply attach each of the pies to one of the mounts along with the included components, and then you slot the pie into the chassis. It's pretty simple. As for me, I made a little alteration from the vendor's configuration. For my rack, I use power over ethernet hats on each of the pies, and these allow me to power them on by simply plugging in an ethernet cable. The PoE hats that I use came with a built-in fan, so I didn't use the fan that came with the kit. However, I have used their fans before in an earlier build and found them to be totally acceptable. In fact, I think the included fans would have worked even better than the fans that the PoE hats came with, but the temperatures were totally fine in my tests. So what's my overall opinion on this product? Well, functionally, it's pretty much perfect. It claims that it racks 14 Raspberry Pis, and well, it racks 14 Raspberry Pis, so it does exactly the thing that it advertises to do. However, there's also some obvious downsides here as well. And the first of those is that, in my opinion, this rack mount looks fairly bland. While it's totally effective, it's not going to win any style awards or anything like that. And I think it would have been great if they had a stylish bezel or even just multiple colors. And with other products out there focusing on style, I think that's something that's important to do nowadays. So the bland look of this rack mount is definitely something to take into consideration. And the next downside is, well, the price. It's around $170 for this rack mount. 
And considering the fact that this rack mount is fairly unexciting when it comes to appearance, that makes the $170 price tag a bit harder to accept. Now to be fair, this rack does slot up to 14 Raspberry Pis. And that also means that the kit comes with, well, 14 fans, one for each Pi. And I'm sure those fans weren't cheap for the vendor to bundle into this kit. But if a Pi product is going to cost $170 US dollars, in my opinion, it needs an additional benefit. Not only that, the price would have been easier to accept if the product had a cooler aesthetic. But all things considered, this product is really good. It feels like a premium product. The metal is really thick, it's firm, it comes with everything that you need. The assembly is very easy to perform and everything is set up very quickly here. So I think that it checks all the boxes, especially considering that it does what it says it does. It racks Raspberry Pis. But you know what? The price and the aesthetic could be potential downsides, but if those downsides don't bother you, then I think the product is definitely a win. Anyway, if you like this video, please click that like button and definitely subscribe because I have some awesome videos coming very soon that I'm going to edit right now. I can't wait for you to see what's coming. So definitely subscribe so you won't miss out. Anyway, that's it for the review. I had a lot of fun making this review for you guys and I'll see you in the next video.